This is the smallest of the three initial Bailey Adamo models to be launched, the 69.4. Based on the Ford Transit with all the bells and whistles, there's cab air conditioning, cruise control, driver and passenger airbags, even reversing ca camera comes as standard. It's also got a 160 bhp engine with six speed automatic gearbox as standard, automatic lights and wipers, front fog light, alloy wheels, you get all the toys at 6.99 metres, just a tad under seven metres long. So nice and compact on the road, um, nice compact rear overhang too, so it should handle really well. I like the way these Fords drive generally. This might be the smallest of the three Adamos initially launched, but it has got a really generous garage. 1.28 meters high right across the van. Um, good practical flooring, tie down points, little sluice holes if you need to wash things out. You've got 12 volt and two 30 volt sockets and a light in here as well. It's even taller on this side where you've got a hanging rail for your wetsuits or whatever. And then you've also got internal access to your inboard fresh water tank. Good for winterization and nice, generous 100 litre capacity. There's internal access to the garage as well. Great if you want to fit dog cages in here. Now, this isn't the most elegant way into your motorhome, but it does bring me into the next great feature of this particular Adamo. Excellent separate shower on this side, bifold doors. <clears throat> and then on this side, opening window, plenty of storage, high and low, nice stylish little basin, plenty of worktop alongside for all your toiletries, little shelves as well, and plenty of legroom on the familiar cassette toilet. Forward of the washroom, you've got the kitchen. And being a British van, of course, you've got a full spec cooker with mains hot plate, three gas rings, grill, and a separate oven. You've also got a decent amount of work top, and that's even before you deploy this extra flap. Good storage up top, large cutlery drawer, and then my favorite feature, 142 liter fridge on this side with automatic energy selection. So you don't need to worry about switching from 12 volt to mains to gas. It does it for you. Despite this being just a seven meter van, you get a really generous size of lounge area. Nice and light too, with these big side windows and the large over cab sunroof. Plenty of artificial light too, cab reading lights, these spotlights above here as well. and the lights, down lights built into the underside of the bed. Then you've got a large table. Now, if you think this is a good size, well, unfold it and it becomes banqueting proportions. You get six people around this table easily with two each side and the cab seat swiveled. Table also swivels and rotates in all different directions. But my favorite feature perhaps is that you can get it right down low, electrically adjusts, and then you can have it in a, in a low set position as a coffee table, which opens up this lounge area even more. If you want to use this Adamo as a four berth, you can make the lounge into a bed in the usual fashion. But the best thing is that if you're using it just for two of you, you only need to remove the scatter cushions and the armrests out of the way and simply press a button. Now, if, you, if you're if you using the van as four berth, you stop the bed there, use a ladder, and you've got enough headroom for both beds. But for couples, the bed comes right, right down to seat level. So nice and easy access, no need for a ladder. And then when you're in bed, You've got these little shelves for a drink, for your specs, 
uh, maybe to put your phone on charge because these reading lights have USBs built in. And this is a really big bed. It's five foot wide and well, I slept very, very comfortably in here. Of course, if you are going to use all four birds, then you need four travel seats as well. And in that case, you can convert the lounge quite quickly and simply. These backrests flip up, are adjustable, so you can have them at different angles. These little doors flap outwards. Practical touch so you can slide stuff in here when you're not using the travel seats, a bit of extra storage. The seat frames, this is the prototype, they've actually been refined since then and they have all been crash tested which is very reassuring if you're going to put your kids in the back here. Make sure that your loved ones are safe travelling in the back of an Adamo. And because this is a new base vehicle to Bailey, they've thoroughly crash tested it. Even things like the uh, TV mounting have been reinforced because that suffered and the TV flew off in the initial prototype. So we feel safe in this motorhome, not big lounge, big washroom, big garage. So where should we go? Um, should we take the grandkids as well? <laughs>